Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unicorn Gaming Terrain. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is a Let's Build video. What do I do on Let's Build videos? Well, I take a model kit and I show you how to put it together. If you um, have dyslexia or struggle with instructions, this is a visual aid that helps you out. If you're interested in a new in a model or a, you know, new army or new whatever, whatever it is I'm building, again, this helps you out. Um, this is a general visual aid for anyone. Um, for all my regulars here, guys, I feel love. Thank you very much. I'll see you in a second. So last video, I built the Duck Reapers. So this video, I'm going to go for Mild Crisis Protocol, and I'm going to go for a favourite, Venom. So I'm going to pop him open. Um, we'll look, have a look at the sprues and his rules and stuff like that. We'll have a look at the sprue. It's got, it's got a few cards from here, which is uh, special things that happen in the game they can do. One of them is uh, him and Spider Man that can do it, so it's nice. There's some tokens there. I have no idea what any of them means, but I'll find them out when we start playing. I think that's his. Um, damage side when he's injured I think is that yeah or is that his mad side one of them's one of them is one side is when they start the game the other side is when they take damage and they start to go into like rage mode sort of thing um, I haven't read full through the instructions properly yet but you know it's well I, can, I know that rule there wall crawler <coughs> excuse me wall crawler means you can probably just move over any obstacle doesn't matter Right, so let's get the sprue out and have a look at the sprue. Right, so before we even look at the sprue, tools needed as usual. Mild line scraper. You can use a hobby knife or a scalpel blade or something like that, but I, I prefer mild line scraper. Clippers, the most useful tool in our arsenal. And I have some sanding sponge. That's basically sponge with sandpaper with size. It's easy to enter nice nooks and grooves. This is a plastic kit. So plastic glue. But... I do have super glue to hand just in case I need it. Now, as always, we look at the sprue. They're the bases. They look like these, these are like box sanded bases that come with this sort of model. I think the same ones were on the same, I think these bases were on the same for um, just the sinister model. All right, but let's have a look. There's body, front of the body, back of the body. It's tongue, lovely looking tongue. Actually crazy. Hands, legs. It looks like where his foot goes into. And then there's a few bits like this bit here. It looks like he's, he's got his jaw. It looks like something. I don't know, but we'll figure it out. All right, so it's going to set up my instructions and get ready. All right, so the first two bits that are needed are the body and the other body. Okay, so this one and this one. I'm going to snip them off, clean them. It looks like there's very little to no mold lines. But we're going to clip them off and clean them down anyway. And we'll dry fit them and show you where they go. Well, this is very straightforward. It just slots in like that. I'm going to get the plastic glue, glue that in, but see where that joins. I'm going to run the plastic glue down a little join line. Just to, let's see that side, just to get rid of that little join line. So what it's saying to me now is, the legs go on next, then the, you put the tongue in the head, and da, 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 da. but the, the, the head and both the arms have a few parts that go together to make them complete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one leg off and clean that down. Um, I'm going to take this leg off, clean it down. Okay, this is the leg with the little block underneath. Okay, it's the left leg. I'll take that, clean that down, and let's get the glues in there. But I'll show you dry fit and show you how it goes. And then I'll take the tongue off and the head parts, which is this piece here. This is see his head there. And this piece here. Why are you messing around with focusing again? Which is the bottom jaw. We'll show you how that goes. So I'll take the leg off first. Clean that, dry fit, show you how it goes, and then glue it in, and then I'll go to the head. 
Right, so this just goes in there like that. Okay. You keep that little square on the base because that goes into the rock that he's standing on, which is that piece there. So let's glue that on there. I'm going to glue that in there and then we're going to move on to the next piece. And it should be the other leg, but I'm going to go for start working on the head because it needs three parts that go together. And I don't want to be trying to glue the head on and also it's falling apart with spin, you know. So I'm going to glue that in and then come back with the head. Right, so while that's gluing, drying, we're going to go to the head. We need the tongue. And we need this piece, which is the bottom of the jawline. Yeah? I'm going to snip them, clean them, show you how they go. Right, this one's a little bit fiddly. That's why I always get it sun separately. So the jaw, there's the tongue. It goes in there like that. Okay, so the slots in there a little bit there. So I'm going to glue that in, and then we'll go to. I'm going to glue that in, and then I'm going to get the top half of the head ready. Right, so there's the head. So I'm going to take that off, clean that down, and I'll show you how that goes on. Right, so the head actually has a little ball there, yeah, the little, little ball hole. Oh, oh. The little hole, the little hole bit goes up on top of that. Okay, let's just sit on top of it. But when you're doing it, make sure you put it the right way. The teeth are at the front. Okay, so I'm going to glue that on and we'll move on to the arms then. I'll give you a little look at him. Looks absolutely fantastic. Now, what we're going to do is so the arms come in two parts now. Well, one of them has three parts to it, one of them has two parts to it. So we're going to take this one first of all, okay, this is the easier one, so it's hand clenched outwards, yeah, as if trying to grab something, and that is for his right side, so what it is, is this one, no, this one, yes, this one, because that little square sits on, on the side of his, side, the side of him there, so I'm going to snip that off, snip that off, these two bits going together, I'm going to snip them off and we'll show you, show you, show you how they go. And the way this goes on is very simple. That goes into there. Like so. Does it go into? Yeah, it does. It goes into there like so. Is it that way? I think it's that way. Yeah, it's that way. Nice and easy. So, gonna, that way. Hmm. now I'm questioning myself. Oh, that's how it goes, yeah. <laughs> I had it right the first time, right? So I'm going to glue that in, and then uh, we'll go into the next arm, because the next arm has three different parts to it. Right, so the next one is this piece. Which is basically his hand, but it's missing a little bit. The bit it's missing is those claws. So that, this one, this one, and this one. So I'm going to clip them, clean them, and come back and just dry them. Show you exactly how they go. Right, this is a little bit this confusing. It goes in his hand, but that is the way it goes in his hand. So there's a little bit this side. I press it, you can see it. That's his thumb. What he's doing is clenching his fist. So that's his thumb on that side and then his fingers. Okay, but the way it goes in there, you can see it just slots in there, okay? Let's get some glue in there and get this to show you how this goes in. This glue is almost gone. Just draining the last little bits out of it. Like so. That's it. Yeah, let's push it in a little bit. But see, when I'm cleaning it, it's so difficult to clean a little bit of the bottom of his hand, the little sprue bit. Now I can either leave that until the end and just give it a little snip, or just drop a little tiny bit, not squeezing it in, just put a little bit on there, and it will melt the plastic. Now, this arm then, same as the other one. Glue straight in there. Okay. 
like so. I'm going to glue that in and we'll come back to you with the, the leg then. Well, I'm going to glue that in then I'm going to snip the leg off. I've snipped these last two pieces off. I'll clean them both down and I'll show you where the leg goes. It's pretty straightforward. Right, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, just glue straight into there. Like so. And obviously when it's glued in, just run your finger, run the glue around along the join line to get rid of that horrible join line. So I'm going to glue that in. Right, so the next bit's down on the arms and the head they go together all at the same time. Very self-explanatory. That just goes on. Might be dropping it on the floor. That doesn't, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> that just goes in there. Okay. I'll figure out how it goes on. No, it doesn't. It goes in that side. Somehow. So, my goodness me, what are we doing here? I'll come back to you in a second, guys. Right, I really asked why I, had, why I had it wrong. I had the bottom part of the arm on the wrong side of the top bit. That's why it won't go on properly. This is another reason why I use plastic glue when doing plastic models. Because because I found that mistake, I separated it and changed them over. There's not an issue. <laughs> Crisis averted. But that's, that's where it's not labelled up to or numbered up. So this one just goes in there like that. Nice and simple. Now we've got it on the right side. Um, the other one will slot in the same. Yeah. So the other dry for a few minutes. But, um, the head then, head will just slot in there. That little top square. And then after that, I'm gonna have to glue that into his base. You don't glue this to the base first. Because if you glue it to the base first and you're putting the model on, it's in the wrong position, it's going to be all weird. So if you glue him into that first, glue this into him first and then glue the whole thing into one piece. Glue that a few minutes and glue those three pieces on, then glue the base onto him and then glue him to the base. And I'll come back to you then. Right, so apart from the, the simple mistake with the shoulders, I glued the arm bits onto the wrong shoulder bits, it looks confusing on the sprue. It doesn't tell you numbers. It just shows you pieces. So that's the, that's the only difficult thing about these, these Marvel Cross protocol builds. It doesn't tell you numbers. Even though the sprue, where's the sprue? Here we are. The sprue is numbered. <laughs> so I don't know why, but anyway. That's why you always, if you're using plastic it's best to use plastic glue. And again, this there's no reason why I do these videos. So say you're building this and you put the arms together and let them to dry and went off for a couple of hours, then come back and realise you've made a mistake. You're going to have such difficulty separating them. Whereas because you've seen it now, me do it, when you build this model yourself, you'll start to build it and go, oh, actually, I need to make sure that I've got the right piece on the right, you know, and you'll, you'll do that. And if you glue it like I did and then realise it's wrong, it's quick change over it's not an issue but anyway thank you for watching guys if you've enjoyed this video found it interesting in any way please hit the like button for me if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please do so guys it costs you absolutely nothing and it helps the channel out in a massive massive way and if you haven't subscribed hit that button hit the notification button turn them on so you get all the notifications for all videos that i do for everyone else thank you for supporting the channel for you know all this time and helping the channel grow if you have any comments chuck them below as always guys i'm going to bring you down and show you some pretty pictures but this is this isn't officially the first model of the new year but it's if i do them today because uh there's still some amazing models to come yet for for this game system but anyway i'm going to bring you down and show you some pretty pictures thank you for watching until next time take it easy